It's transport fit for a king. A train carriage used by the royal family on its Tasmanian visits has been restored for public display. Tasmania's first and only royal train carriage rolled off the production line 130 years ago. Between 1920 and 1935, it carried members of the British royal family between public engagements, where thousands turned out to catch a glimpse. And it was meant to represent um, Tasmanian at, at its best in terms of Tasmanian timbers and Tasmanian craftsmanship. The Prince of Wales, Duke and Duchess of York and Duke of Gloucester have all been on board. Using black and white photos, volunteers have spent 15,000 hours restoring the carriage from a bare shell. Hopefully when we've got all the furnishings inside and some very good top quality stuff's on the way, um, it will look very much the part. New and second-hand fittings have been matched to original features like etched glass panels. This area of the carriage uh, was once again covered with thick paint. Once we started scraping that back, it turned out to be Tasmanian hue and pine. So it's been all restored back to its original condition. In the 1940s, the carriage was converted for public use. Evidence of its later years as a camp carriage for railway workers was uncovered during the restoration. Tarzan the Magnificent, various kind of, uh, kinds of um, matchboxes. This um, tobacco has still tobacco in it. While it's no longer suited to the state's main rail line, the carriage hasn't made its final journey. It'll be displayed as part of the Don River Tourist Railway and taken out on special occasions. It could be used in, as part of a wedding party or um, just for very special visitors to the site. If the need arises, it's fit for royalty. Emily Bryan, ABC News, Launceston.